That's day one at camp done. It is a lot more embarrassing than I thought filming in front of everybody. So my first thoughts are that Yakima is both a lot hotter than I remember, but also a lot more beautiful than I remember. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. So today was the first full day on the reservation. We traveled around the reservation some. We had a, we had a Sunday school, we had a church service. One of the coolest things we actually did was going to the Yakima Museum. There we met with a former council member of the tribe named Wendell. Wendell is 82 years old and knows a lot about the nation and the history of it and their customs and the culture. Yeah. Unfortunately, we were actually allowed to film inside of the museum, but that allows my beautiful voice to give you some highlights. Despite not being able to hear us super well, Wendell was very, very nice. It was clear he knew a lot and he really cared about being able to share the culture of his community. Every time you asked a question, he loved it. It was great. It was amazing. And sure, many of us read articles and newspapers and things like that about Yakima beforehand, but hearing it from someone who's lived here for 80 years is an entirely different perspective. One of the most important things that I noticed from when he was talking was the difference between Christianity when his father was a kid and Christianity now when it comes to the Yakima Nation. But he said that, they did say that the effect of Sacred Road in the past 15 plus years that it's been here has been tremendous. One of the things that he said that stuck with me the most was these kids don't know you, but they love you. He said that this is because they know what we stand for. They see the Sacred Road stickers on the vans and the shirts on us, and they realize these people are here to help and care for us. A lot of these kids are coming from families that don't have fathers, that have drugs, alcohol, a whole bunch of terrible, terrible things happening in them. And some of the kids, and two kids actually last year told me that they loved the kids club that we do every day because it's the time when they feel safe. We're also told about one family in the community whose kids aren't even allowed outside except for during kids club, meaning that we are the only time they're able to do anything because the surrounding community is just so dangerous. While it was nice getting to just kind of visit the community and chill, we are all very excited to actually get to work. And tomorrow, it's roofing time. Roofing was, well, a little harder than I expected. Now I did roofing last year, so I kind of knew what to expect, but last year we didn't have to rip off 50 year old shingles covered in soot from Mount St. Helen. I was definitely too tired to actually record anything, but we did get most of the shingles off that day, and besides that, nothing really happened, so on to day three. Day something at Yakima. All I know is that it's the second day that we have been working on Bill's house, and it's going pretty good. Today was a lot easier than yesterday. Despite it being hotter than yesterday, it we weren't doing all of the uh, shingle shoveling. We were just putting shingles down, so that made it a lot easier, but still, very very hot we've been having a lot of fun we've been we have actually started laying shingle finally me and natalie have been doing uh the paper which has been nice it's been great today we had a kids club we had water games which was fun i did some bubbles we uh did some things with some what are those things called sponges we also had the youth group today which is like kids a bit older middle and high school ish 
and with them we played dodgeball and there was a little sermon type thing it was it was really fun i'm excited for tomorrow you know we're getting a lot of work done on his house and i'm very excited to you know watch that come along and then i'm also excited for thursday it's gonna be an off day we're gonna go do something some fun i don't know what yet but i'm sure it'll be great i mean Yakuma is incredible. It's it's amazing here. And it's been really nice being able to talk to Bill and learn about stuff and really I'm, I'm just really happy that the roof is going to someone who really needs it because his roof is from 1977. So it's at this time 47 years old. So he definitely needed it. It's also been really nice getting to know some people from church a bit better. Like being on top of a roof in 100 plus degree heat Banging away all day is a surprisingly good bonding experience. You learn a lot about people when you're in that much heat. Either way, I'm having fun. I'm having a great time. We're getting a lot of work done. We're doing a lot of good. So now day three of working and the house looks like this. Not bad. So we got more work done on day four, but that's not the cool part. The cool part is that I actually captured a bit of the Bible story time for Kids Club. So here's a bit of that. And she went, oh no. Where was number 100 sheep? You mind looking sad being like, she was really sad. The shepherd said, one of my sheep is lost. I have to find him. So you know what that shepherd did? That shepherd went out and she began searching. Come on, shepherd, come on. We're, we're going over here, we're gonna look over here. You see the sheep over there? <laughs> no, I thought over there. We're gonna search, search high and low. Went all around until finally she, she tried calling out the sheep. Can you go, here, sheep. <laughs> Yeah, shippy, shippy, shippy. I'll do it for you. That's all right. <laughs> Finally, the shepherd came and found the sheep. She went and she brought the lost sheep back to the flock. Come on, come on, sheep. Bring him back to the flock. Rest of them. She brought him back, and all the sheep were super happy. The shepherd loved every single sheep very much. Day four was our rest day. So while we did go to kids club, we didn't actually work on Bill's house that day. Instead, we went to see a beautiful, beautiful Washington mountain, and I took plenty of pictures of that for y'all. And so the final day, we finished the house, packed everything up, and said goodbye to the kids at Kids Club. I'm really gonna miss the kids, especially AJ, who was with me that entire time. I wanna thank every single person that donated to help me go on this trip. I raised $1,900, which is just insane. So thank you so much for helping me go to Yakima.